In this problem, we want to use a product rule to find a derivative. So we've got uh, f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x times 3x minus 5. This one, again, would be pretty easy to do. Uh, use some algebra, multi just multiply these together. But they want to specifically use a product rule. So product rule says you got something times something else, which is what we have here. So I'll label this first uh, factor uh, as P, and I'll label the second factor as Q. Now our formula is P prime Q plus P Q prime. Well, we have the P and Q, but we don't have P prime and Q prime, so let's find that. P prime, the derivative of, of x squared plus 4x. x squared, take your power, put it out in front, lower it by 1. And then the 4x becomes 4. So P prime would be 2x plus 4. Q prime would be 3. If you have a number with an x, again, you just drop the x and keep the number out in front. And derivative of a number is 0, so that goes away. So now we'll plug in what we identified. We said P prime was 2x plus 4 times Q, which is 3x minus 5 plus P, which is x squared plus 4x times Q prime, which is 3. <coughs> Let me double check myself. P prime times Q plus. Okay. Now, this is considered one group, and this is considered one group. As I look at these, I see that this has a uh, 2x plus 4. I could factor a 2 out, the GCF. Um, this one I could factor an x out, and that'd leave me x plus 4. But if, even if I did that, I would find that uh, they have nothing in common, these two groups. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll just get rid of parentheses, and then we'll uh, combine together like terms and see what happens. Well, uh, 2x times 3x gives us 6x squared. 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. 4 times 3x is 12x. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. And here we'll use the distributive property. We'll multiply 3 through. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 4x is 12x. And uh, just double check myself again. Okay. Now we want to combine together like terms. Here's an x squared, here's an x squared. So 6 plus 3 gives us 9x squared. Here's a negative 10x plus 2x, or plus 12x gives us 2x, plus another 12x gives us 14x. And then the minus 20 uh, carries along at the end. And that would be your answer.